Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Carrie Kemp and I am a plus size model and um, influencer, I guess, in the Toronto area. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited about this haul. It's actually like one of my most exciting hauls because it's from my trip. You guys all know if you follow me on Instagram, the Carrie Kemp right here. Uh, that I went to Nashville, Atlanta, and Charlotte, and my husband and I drove from Toronto to Nashville to Atlanta, then to Charlotte, and back to Toronto. So we did like a little loop, and we stopped at so many stores, so many outlet malls. I love the shopping, and bought a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I bought, and I'm so excited to show you it. So before I do that, I do want to measure. So before I do any video, I like to measure. To give you guys a good sense of uh, my size to your size because weight is not even like different body shapes and sizes show weight a lot different so I like to do my actual measurements so that you guys can compare a little bit more accurately to who I am so my bust is 42 my waist which is where my belly naturally goes out or naturally dips in whichever way you want to look at it is 38 I like to measure my belly because I do have a big belly is 50 uh, let's go 51 for ease and either 50 and a half or 51 for those of you who are wondering and my booty my big booty let's just go over the biggest part of my booty is 53 and a half so that's that. Um, these bottoms are from Swimsuit for All. This top, you guessed it, it's from Under Armour. How did you guys guess? Probably right here. Yeah. It was from an Under Armour outlet mall. Now, I have all of my receipts right here. And I'm going to lay them out on the couch. And so that it's a little bit easier. That's right, I got a lot to show you guys today. I'm so excited. All right, leave that there so that we're all kind of in sync. So some of the stores I shopped at that I've never shopped at before. The first one, actually, I guess the only one I've never shopped at before. I'm thinking. I don't know what this is. Oh, I know what this is now. Okay. Uh, it is actually the only store I haven't shopped at. Uh, is Fashion to Figure. So I'm super excited to show you what I got there because you know your girl got something there. But this bra, we're gonna go. I got an. I got it in an extra large. And typically, like, let's be real, Under Armour does not cater to the plus size market, nor do they even show a want to cater to the plus size market. So I typically don't shop there, but this color is my color. And as soon as I seen it, I knew I wanted to try it on. It's kind of got a fun back. And like I said, I typically don't shop there because yeah, they just don't cater to my size. Um, but we were in there for Scott and we ended up, I ended up buying this. So this sports bra in mid, uh, in blue, it says, sorry. It's original price is $30, but I got it for 18 US. Um, and we got this in Nashville. So I actually really like this sports bra, I'm not going to lie, but is it going to make me go back to Under Armour every single time? Not a chance. I, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit of a Nike snob, uh, but yeah, I, I like it, so I bought it. That's kind of how I am. If I like it and I buy it, I, I get it. So with that being said, let's move on to Torrid. All right, 
so um, I stopped in at the Torrid store, uh, Torrid, in Georgia. It was an outlet mall on the way to um, it, uh, Charlotte from Atlanta. I don't remember what outlet mall. It says Commerce, Georgia. I don't know if that's completely accurate, but I got this little tank top which I thought was super cute so I got this in a what size did I get this in in a one and then I got these shorts little booty shorts in an 18 so the top was regularly $34.90 and I got it for $27.27. Let's be real, Torrid, like their sales are crap. Um, and then these pants are were regularly $44.90 and I got them for $35.08. Um, I love Torrid. And I love like the new stuff that they bring out and all that kind of stuff, but their prices, <sighs> their prices are super high. Let's be real. I'm being honest here. Their prices are super high. As much as I love them, I can't justify spending like money on them often. So when I do buy from them, um, it's something of lower value, I guess, or something that's like out of season. Um, or something that I actually genuinely want or need and have been looking for. So uh, they had like, I think it was like buy one, get one 50% off or something like that. So that was this. And that's why I bought these two because I really liked these jeans or these um, pants, shorts, and they came with a belt already. And I thought that this tank top matched it super cute. Obviously not with the bra, <laughs> but um, I really liked these two together and uh, yeah, I wanted them so I bought them, but Torrid is not an everyday place for me to shop and that's just my opinion. I went into a lot of Torrid stores and I couldn't really find anything in the clearance, but then again, I'm not really like, I'm not an active shopper. I'm not like digging through everything. I'm one of those, if I like something in the first 10 minutes that I'm there, great. If not, there will be something at another store that's easier to find. <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> Alright. So, the next thing I want to show you are my Nike purchases. I went to three different, actually we went to more than three. We went to a lot of different Nike stores. Um, Nike outlets. And I found something at three stores. So that's exciting. I really like these shorts. I mean, everything in here I really like or else I wouldn't have bought it. Because let's be real, Carrie does not need too many more clothes. Just hang this up here. I've been so excited to do this video because I haven't even taken any of this stuff out because I didn't want to show it on Instagram before I did this video. So I've made sure not to wear any of this stuff. So I'm super excited that I'm actually going to get to start wearing it. But Nike. All right. Let's put this bag here to say that that's done. So the first item in no specific order is this crop top sweat it's not even a crop top really it's more of like a comfy sweater it's just like a shorter sweater um and i did wear it once on the trip because we went into this restaurant and they had the air conditioning going on so much that it was cold 
So, let's see, what did I, I'm thinking that it's, Let's see if I can find it in these. Uh, this might be it. Let's see, where did I get these? This is in Georgia. This is in North Carolina. Was it in North Carolina? That? Yes. So this was $34.97 US. Okay, I can put those up there. Well, not really, because I need to Anyway. Sorry, I'm like, ugh. Yes, I'm a little bit hyper. Let's be real. But I love this sweater. You guys know me and my sweaters in the winter. It's a nice light sweater, so um, it's got like a little Nike rubbery type thing here. Uh, but yeah, I liked it, so I bought it. And um, it's something I haven't seen in Canada yet. I'm sure that it'll come to Canada at some point, but this is an extra large. And I did buy it in an extra large, so I'm pretty sure that this was the $35. Next is this beautiful crop top. This is an actual crop top. And I got this one in an extra large. And it's got like the Nike Air. The fun thing that I love about it, it's got a zipper in the back for no reason. Just like I love the color of this. And I love that it like matches the zipper on the back. This one I got in Pennsylvania. And uh, it was... Do, 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 do. I think this is a rally crew. Yes. It was regular $54.99 and I got it for $38.49. So yay for that win. That was that was a good score in my opinion. This one actually still has a tag on it because I have not worn it. So there you go, $54.99 on here. It was on sale. Oh, I love outlet malls, you guys. This is where I find deals. Actually, the Nike store in Pennsylvania was my favorite, to be completely honest. All right, and then you guys have seen these tops on me. This is really... I'm taking this off because I that's starting to bug me. Okay, you guys have seen these uh, shirts on me. These are my favorite, absolute favorite. So I just bought it. Um, the regular price was twenty four ninety nine, and I got it for seventeen forty nine. And I usually pay about twenty dollar or twenty five dollars uh, at the Nike clearance here. For these, I have three other shirts just like it, and I love it, and they're, they're honestly my favorite to work out in. They absorb sweat very well, and yeah, just, it's just awesome. And then, y'all know that I like these. These are extra larges, so... Here it is again in a different color. Um, this one actually is a little bit tighter than the other ones that I have. It might be a little bit of a different style. Um, it was around that $27 mark as well. I Regular price was $24.99 and it's the exact same shirt, just a different color than this one. So it would have been around that same price. I actually thought that like looking at these receipts would be super easy. It is not. <laughs> and then I got these leggings. 
although not as good as Costco, I'm going to be honest. Um, they were $21 on for uh, $15.37. So I really couldn't couldn't not buy them. That double negative there. I had to have them. They are skin tight, which is pretty, and they did pass the squat test. I'm wearing weird shorts underneath, so, uh, but they have like a little Nike check mark there, which I liked, but yeah. They are, they were comfy and cheap, so I got them. And they kind of have like a little bit of an elastic band in the back. And I bought these actually in a 2X. These are legitimate plus size leggings from Nike. So um, I am a 2X in their leggings. That's why I don't have a lot of their leggings. Um, but yeah. And then I got this in a large. This is the crop top, uh, regular $27.99. I got it for $19.60. And it's just, you guys know me and my crop top, standard crop top, uh, just gray. And it is gray. <laughs> just add that tea. Spill the tea. Okay, so those were my purchases from Nike. Yay. Next, I will move on to the purchases from Target. All right, so I've done this, this, and this. Do I have the Target receipt? Uh, I don't have the Target receipt. I am sorry. Target, for those of you who are not understanding what I'm saying. Um, I got these in XL. They were two for five dollars US. And I was I've been looking just for basic wide strapped tanks to be to wear with my shorts and stuff. I actually got the inspiration from seeing the people in Nashville with like jean shorts and a uh, tucked in wide strap tank and then they just tied around a plaid shirt around their waist and I thought it was hella adorable so I got this color and I got this color this one is an XXL because it's white when it's white I always size up because white is see-through and you can still see through this, but it's just not as bad. Like you'd be able to see my belly button, which is, that's why I size up for white. So I got those two colors for $5. And then I got, this is an XL. And I'm not a big fan of red, but I seen this and I was like, you know what? I needed a, a fourth shirt. So this red one came home with me and I have it on backwards. Whoa. I think I would be able to work with this red. So there's that. And again, these are all $5. Regular $8. And then I got this beautiful blush one in an extra large, I believe, but I'm gonna, yep. In an extra large. And then you can like mix and match your plaids with whatever tank I am wearing. I can mix and match them because these are my shirts. <laughs> but if you were interested in that kind of style, it is hella cute and like so easy. And then I just seen this simple tea 
for eight dollars. They didn't have like a twofer, so this is a double XL. You crop it. You could just wear it plain. You could wear it like off the shoulder, like it's kind of like a wide, wider neck. It's got a V neck in it. Um, and yeah, extra large. It's nice and light. And I just needed some more of the basics. And then uh, I seen these sandals and I've been like looking for cute sandals. These were $22.99. Um, like just like flats that I could like dress up. So I'm gonna like back it up. Whew. I hope you can see that. Um, it's just like something simple. I got them in a size 10. I know I've got big feet. Do not judge me. Uh, and they were just simple and cute and something that I could wear with a lot of like the maxi dresses that I have. Cause they're a little bit dressier. So I got them and I'm in love with them. So now speaking of shoes, I'm going to get into some of the shoes. I'm not done with clothing. I'm going to do like clothing, shoes, clothing. So now I'm going to get into the shoes that I have purchased on the trip. So the first couple, I'll do my sports shoes first. From Nike, I got these two pairs of shoes. I wanted all solid black with white um, accents for the Nike shoes. So I got these. Um, oh yeah. And then these I just seen that it's like a gray with a mint and I absolutely loved that look. Uh, so the shoes. The black and white ones were 45. They were not on sale. But the gray ones were, and I just need to quickly find them. Um, I might be missing a receipt because I cannot find them, but they were on clearance and when I seen them, I knew I had to have them. Uh, I do not have them. Sorry guys, I don't know how much I paid for them. I want to say it was $30 or something crazy like that. It was super cheap. It was either like 30 or 35 bucks. So. I'll put one on each foot and you can see what they look like. They're just like everyday kind of running around Toronto shoes going from shoot to shoot. You guys know or should know that I do not run around Toronto in heels. I applaud everyone who does um, because that that's not easy. And... Here they are. So here's just the black and white. And then here are the gray and blue. The gray and blue ones, actually I wore to the World of Coke and um, the aquarium when we were in Atlanta. And yes, they're so light. Like they're even lighter than these black ones. It's insane. They're just so comfy. They're actually both really comfy, but if I actually had to choose, I would totally choose these to like run around in. But I thought for photo shoots, um, this black with the white accent just looks a little bit more polished and would go with a lot more stuff. So that is why I bought both pairs. So there's that. And then um, I got two pairs of Gladiator type sandals. I'm going to just hold them up here instead of putting them on my feet right away. Um, and then just a regular schmegular strappy sandal. These ones are billabong. Um, okay, so Off-Broadway and Famous Footwear are where I got them. So Off-Broadway I found these sandals for uh, yeah, these sandals 
for seventeen forty nine. So there's this. And I got them in a nine and a half. I'm typically a nine and a half. The only reason why I was a ten in Target is because they fit smaller. Oh. And there's one, and I'm gonna put these ones on the other foot. These were $15. And I just wanted some gladiator sandals for when I want to dress up and not wear heels. This one actually has a little bit of a heel, um, just a little bit of a wedge heel. So here they are. Um, and yeah, I just wanted some different uh, options for yeah when I go out. They both are like super comfy. They have um, padding in them so like I don't need to worry about my feet getting too too sore after a while. And then the Billabong strappy sandals. Do -do 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 -do. which are super cute, um, and they are, $15. So here is the Billabong strappy sandal. Super cute, fun stuff, good times. Okay, so those are all the sandals that I bought. I was like, how many pairs of sandals do you need? Is there really an answer to that? <laughs> and then these I got from uh, Maurice's. And they were... $49. They're just like cute cowboy-esque looking booties. I thought they were adorable, so I bought them, and they are so comfy. Oh, like, just imagine, like, jean shorts, black, white, whatever tank top, and then the plaid shirt tuck wrapped around. Yes, that is a look all in itself, and I'm so digging it. So I love these sandals or sandals these boots so speaking of Maurice's I did get a top for $49 Maurice's again is a little bit like Torrid um, it's a little bit pricey let's be real uh, but again I'll buy something if I really really like it and I really really like this plaid top uh, again, I went for like inspiration on the Nashville Broadway uh, and that's kind of why I bought this. So this was actually, yeah, this was 34 and the boots were 49. I don't know if I said that right or not, but so it's just like a plain plaid shirt that I would wrap around my waist, wear those boots with, jean shorts, or jeans, and um, a plain tank. So whether it's the blush, because there's blush in here, that's actually why I bought the blush one. The blush, the white, or the black tank tucked in. You guys will see it styled on my Instagram, and you guys will thank me for that inspiration, because, whew, I was feeling it. But I'm gonna show you this shirt on. I bought it in a one. I was gonna get it in a two, but then it didn't really fit me to like wear regularly. So again, tuck this in, or you could undo a couple buttons at the bottom and do what I like to do with, thanks to Katie's inspiration. <laughs> she taught me this and just tie 
it like this, wear your jeans, go sexy boots, and you have a fall look. So that is what I bought at Maurice's. We are getting to the end, you guys. All right. So the next store I want to show you is what I got at Columbia. And this was $35 US. And there was no tax in Pennsylvania, so it was $35 US. And it, this is a 1X, and I love the Columbia jackets. I always, always, always go to a Columbia store when I need a jacket, whether it's winter or spring, because they fit over my butt. Um, they last forever, like my last jacket, which is pretty much exactly like this, only a little bit different. This is the newer style of it. Um, it's lasted me probably five years now. Like, it was when... Scott and I went to uh, Minneapolis outlet shopping once and I found it and it was about 30 bucks then. So it's only gone up a little bit and it's the exact same jacket. I absolutely love it. I got it in a 1X. They did have it other colors. It is regularly $89 and I got it for 35. So I really am not complaining. I freaking love this jacket. Um, just as much as I loved my last one and I hope that this one lasts longer. It does have a little drawstring in here so if you like your winch, your winch to be wasted, your waist to be cinched, your winch to be wasted. <laughs> wow, that was, that was a good one. If you like your waist to be cinched a little bit, you are, you can actually do that in here on both sides. Um, it's also got pockets on the inside, which my other jacket didn't have. It's got pockets on the outside. And I'm just, I love this jacket. Um, I love the long jacket. I was going to get it in a different color, but this is just so versatile and it looks professional. Um, going into meetings and stuff. So that is why I bought it. I freaking, like I said, I love the other jacket. It is starting to wear out. So that's why I was actually looking for a new one. Um, they have a lot of different styles like if you like the shorter jackets they have those as well and they go up to a 3x so that is why I love supporting um, uh, Columbia it's kind of like Nike they might not have as much selection as their regular selection but they at least are working towards it and I commend any store that works towards a more inclusive environment whether that is serving smaller sizes or serving bigger sizes as long as you're working towards it I'm gonna support you so with that being said I am here for my finale my Monte Carlo of all Carlos I have never been to a fit uh, fashion to figure ever in my life and I've heard so much about it. I've been following it for so, so long. And um, to, be, to be honest, there was a, an Ashley Stewart right next door. And I had had my hopes up like I did with uh, Fashion to Figure about Ashley Stewart and I didn't find anything. And that is me being completely 100% honest. I was actually a little bit disappointed with what I found in the store. Um, and I've seen so many people with nice clothes from Ashley Stewart and I love what they're doing in the plus size community so I really wanted to support them but there was just nothing in there that was for me and that is my honest to God opinion. I hope one day I can go in there and have that like amazing moment like I did with Fashion to Figure um, but I didn't with Ashley Stewart so uh, that was too bad. So Fashion to Figure Whew! They had clothes. I was, I had probably tried on 18 different outfits. So I went to the fashion to figure in um, Georgia, uh, Atlanta. It was at the Southgate Mall, I think it was called. It was at, it was a South, Southgate Mall. I'm going to tag it because somebody had recommended it. Um, 
And so I, I fell in love with this store and I wanted to buy so much more, but um, Scott stopped me. <laughs> He's like, when are you going to wear all this? And I had already purchased a little bit of stuff. Like I hadn't purchased the Target stuff, which was super cheap. Um, or I think the Torrid at that point. But I didn't purchase much after this store. Uh, so by the time we got to this store, I had already purchased quite a bit. And so Scott was like, you just bought a lot. Um, so you should probably chill out. And he was right. Like the stuff that I was going to buy, um, I would either already bought in like a different variation of some sort. Or I just didn't need it and didn't have a purpose for the outfits. But trust me when I say I wanted to buy the whole freaking store. They have so many different um, styles in there. And I think that there is something in there for everyone. So that is me ranting and raving about fashion to figure. It was everything that I wanted it to be actually and more. Um, and the ladies in there were just like the sweetest ladies ever in ever. So that was also really nice and maybe why I was a little bit happier because as soon as I walked in somebody greeted me and they were like asking me about like what I was looking for and all that kind of stuff and I said I was just browsing but once I started pulling stuff they were like did you see this and did you see that and so I tried it all on and it was amazing whereas like I walked into Ashley Stewart they were literally right next to each other walked into Ashley Stewart nobody greeted me which I'm not like you don't have to greet me I, I think that it's nice to be like hey how's it going is there anything I can help you find but if you don't, it's not like a deal breaker, but I literally walked through the store and it wasn't until I walked out that they were like, have a nice day. And I'm like, if only you would have like said hi to me. I don't know. It just, I'm going to, I'm going to quit, uh, about, cause that's just customer service. That's not like the actual store model. So, um, I'm hoping that another Ashley, I'm, I'm not done with Ashley Stewart. I am going to. Uh, try and find something one day I hope to to have have this experience but I'm gonna rant and rave about fashion to figure for a second <laughs> so okay I bought two things there I bought this beautiful white dress and I wish I would have had this for the white red and white boat cruise that I went on but I didn't so that's okay um, I got this in a one so it is a plus size store, which is amazing. And I just love the fit and flair of this. I think that it looks really good on my body because I'm smaller up top, bigger on the bottom. So it just like cuts at the right spot, like right where my hip uh, starts. Um, this dress was, I don't know, they were both like, one was $56 and one was $52. So I don't know which was which. Uh, which, a little bit pricier, granted. I get it. Um, it's regular $64, so I did get something off. But I just love it. Woo! Carrie. I just love it. And it's, it's a little bit short, yes. But just overall, I really like how it feels on my body. Um, I would definitely wear booty shorts underneath it so that nobody be getting a, a show. Uh, but I love how it's like double tiered. I love that it's like a stretchy, nice stretchy uh, lace. Yes, you can see through it. But again, there are ways around that. It does have a zipper back. Um, but I just, I feel like this would be a cute date night dress with Scott. So I bought it and he actually really liked it too. Like he was there when I was trying it on. And so I know that when Scott says, I really like it, that I need to get it because, you know, got to please my man, look cute for him. So I was super happy with that purchase. And then, oh, this outfit. I bought this actually for vacations. Um, I don't know where else I would wear it. Uh, I'm sure I would find a place, let's be real. But it is a romper set I got this in a one as well I tried it on in the two and uh, it it was just a little bit too big on top so the top is see-through so I would wear either a bikini top on top or a cute bra 
um, or a black bandeau or a bralette if I'm walking around Toronto because and then so here are the bottoms they are a little bit tight on the bottom but they are so stretchy that I don't feel like it's as tight as they are you know um, I love it and I had to have it I think that it is going to be like that statement outfit when I go uh, away for a holiday you go you walk in and like I can still dance I can still kick I can do my crazy legs have my fat like just going everywhere it's gonna be amazing um, so yeah I really this of everything that I purchased this is actually my absolute favorite and I say that just because it's such a statement um, outfit and um, it, it just makes me feel like a boss. I'm not gonna lie. I always say that, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm one of the most honest people. So, as, as positive as I am, I'm also like a super realist. And like, I, I find it really hard to lie. So, um, I, I don't know why I say I'm not gonna lie because it's something that I don't do often. I mean, everybody lies at some point, but it's something that I don't do often. And the only time I'll do it is if I know that the truth is either going to be told to you at some point, or, um, if I, I know that it's going to hurt you and not be beneficial. If the truth is going to be beneficial, uh, then I'll tell you um, and hope that you won't be mad at me. I've, I've done that where the truth has hurt people, but uh, but it's been a beneficial lesson or like it's beneficial knowledge to them. But um, typically if it's not beneficial and it's just going to hurt you, uh, lips are sealed. Um, or if it's like a secret, if somebody has said like don't say anything, vault in it it's not coming out you guys aren't gonna ever know about it so um that is it for that that's a lot that this whole thing actually took 45 minutes just to film now i need to edit it and see how long it is but just to film it all is 45 minutes that's impressive <sighs> that is my whole trips purchase i hope you guys enjoyed this haul if there's anything that you have questions about i'm not able to link anything because they are most of them are actually from outlet malls um but i can always look at my receipts to see the names of stuff uh a lot of them don't have the names and that's why i was having troubles like finding them or whatever but any questions about sizing anything like that please let me know down below. Um, I know that the question that's going to come in is what was my favorite outlet mall or mall of any of them? Uh, my favorite mall uh, was an outlet mall. It was the outlet mall uh, just outside of Pittsburgh. And not only did they not have taxes, but their Nike store had the best women's selection. They had plus and regular sizing all in like one area and it was just laid out so beautifully so like plus size women weren't um, segregated per se but they they were still easy enough to find in the women's section that you didn't need to be like searching all the all over for it which was super awesome kudos to whoever did that store because they did an amazing job favorite store fashion to figure I had the best service there I, um, I tried on a ridiculous amount of things and I would have bought a ridiculous amount of things if I would have been rich, but I'm not rich. So I did have a budget and I went a little bit over that budget, but, uh, that's okay. It makes me come home and work that much harder. All of that being said, I need to go and get ready for the gym. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'm coming to you next week with a Fashion Nova haul once again. So I've already actually filmed it. I just got to edit it as well. But I want to try and like create at least a weekly video for you guys because I have been a slacker. That's right. I just wanted to clap my belly there. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys all for your love and support. Um, I appreciate it every single day. And um, for me, you guys know, it's not about making a dollar, it's about making a difference. Although I do make dollars, um, that is just for me to live. And, uh, but for me, it's about making a difference. And you guys know that I won't ever work with a brand that I don't personally believe in. So, uh, that is it. That is all. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I love you. I know I've said all of this, but I can't say it enough. Um, I'm living my dream because of you. So thank you. Mwah.